Hello and welcome to CIT 115 and CIT 115L Python programming. I'm Professor Brian Candido and I'm very excited that you chose this class and I hope you have a very good time in the next 15 to 16 weeks we'll be together. When you first log into Blackboard you will land here in the welcome start here. And in here is where my contact information, here is my email and my phone number. The best way to reach me is definitely email. If you want to come visit me during my scheduled office hours, here's that information. And down here, I have created and I moderate a uh, Facebook um, computer information technology group page where I post job opportunities and um, conferences and interesting articles from time to time. Over here is your navigation panel. And let's actually see what else is under welcome here. Here is talking about the key areas that you'll probably be using the most during this class. Announcements, weekly course documents, assignments, and quizzes. And then this video obviously will be right here so you can access it. Announcements is where I will have uh, announcements of what's going on or changes to the syllabus. Course information is where you will see the syllabus for this course. And I also have an explanation of why we require a programming course for all CIT majors. I also talk about Blackboard and Marked Reviewed. There are certain topics I want to make sure you um, look at and spend some time with. So there's a little checkbox at the bottom that I ask you periodically to check on so I know that people are progressing. If you want to use an online Python editor and not install any software, you can check it out here. You can also get an e-text version of the book at here. And for those who do not have um, Microsoft Office, you can get it free if you're an STCC student, which you are because you're taking this course. So here's a link to that. I suggest that you probably look at the syllabus at this point. Okay, we've done these. Now weekly course documents is where each week I will have postings to talk about the concepts of that week. So right now we have week one logic and problem solving and install Python. And then I actually show next week if those who do want to go ahead and you will see right here Week 2, Chapter 1, Introduction to Computers and Programming. Also, I'd like to draw your attention to the discussion board. Periodically, I'll be having some postings there asking for you to interact with me and or your classmates. The first one I'm going to have you do is um, put a posting, or what we call a thread, under this discussion board forum, where what do I prefer to be called? Like, I'm Professor Brian Candido, but most of the students at Stick call me Professor C. I have previous programming experience with what languages? Um, Java, C, C++, C Sharp, uh, shell scripting, old school languages such as CL and JCL, Cobalt RPG. What am I good at or enjoy doing other than computers, programming, slash IT? I like to travel, and I like to do gardening and home improvement projects. And my learning challenge is I tend to put stuff off to the end. And when you're done, I ask that you please read your classmates' postings and provide feedback if you wish to. So how would you would do that is you click here, and then you can create a click on here, and then you can actually create your own thread. by right here. So for example, if I'm St. Moose, Katie, I can come down here and I can type in, I prefer to be called Moose. And here you can type in the different answers or posting contributions I'm looking for and do submit when you're done. So obviously I'm going to hit cancel. And before we go any further, I also like you to go look at the assignments because what I'd like you do, to do during the first week is install Python. And here is a document that shows you how to do it. And I ask you to choose what IDE. And IDE is a integrated design environment or development environment. And that's a piece of software that lets you enter in Python code. I show you different samples you can use. And here are them listed. And I ask you to choose or look at these documents and 
get like a feel for which one you might want to use. I will say the majority of the students use Idle, which comes built in with Python or PyCharm. Most of my samples that I will be using this class in the video, YouTube videos use Idle. And I think you're off to a good start. Welcome again to the course and I look forward to working with you.